Hey guys and girls, I'm sitting in my hotel room in Melbourne at the Crown Casino and basically it's the end of the Aussie Millions, at least for me. I'm out of the 100k buy-in event, no more cash game, no more main event. So uh, even though there's always the online game, but Mortimer here with the camera, one of the co-founders of the player, is once again disturbing me in one of my internet sessions, but since he's here, I guess we can talk a little bit about how the week has been going. Well, basically, as I told you, I lost first. We had the 100,000k buy-in event. Uh, you start with 100,000 in chips, and there's 25 players. I was out as the second one after 53 minutes. That was definitely not what I had planned. Um, let me just sit out here for a second. Uh, definitely not like I had planned. I was hoping to win that one. Obviously with only 25 players you have a decent chance of making it to the final table and making it to the top spots that uh, pays a lot of money. But um, I feel like I, made, uh, I could have made a, a bluff or two uh, in the early couple of hands and once we get uh, past the first level, I just had a big hand against Eric Lindgren, where I flopped top pair, top kicker, ace king, came a king on the board, but he had flopped a set, and basically, I don't see any way around that hand, whether I had played it a little slower before the flop or slower on the flop, nothing I really could do about that hand, so that was an unfortunate early exit, but hey, still a lot of things to do. Main event, I started on day two. Uh, entered the tournament a tad bit late, uh, three hours late to be exact. Uh, basically, I don't mind skipping the early levels since uh, there's no antes and I'm a big fan of the antes. So uh, I decided to show up late and uh, was actually feeling good, reasonably well rested. And uh, basically started out, not much happened. I stayed within the 17 and 23,000. We started with, out with 20,000 20, and I had small swings up and down but nothing really happened until a fatal hand where I actually got got bluffed out of a, of a big hand. I'm not uh, happy to say it but I did get bluffed out of a, of a big hand so that kind of uh, that hurt me a little bit and put me down to 12,000 and basically uh, after that it was just quiet and slowly downhill. I think I lost the next uh, six out of seven hands and uh, basically not much, a couple of 50-50 shots, but I guess it wasn't my tournament. So uh, next day I was ready for the cash game. Didn't go well in the tournament, but the, the cash games, uh, big televised cash game, 100 buy-in, only no limit hold'em, 100 Andy, 4 and 8 blind, and basically uh, there I wasn't I wasn't maybe I wasn't in stroke this week because I again made a couple of mistakes and basically it turned out to be more or less a one winner game uh, Patrick Antonius won hand after hand even though he played a little crazy a little careless he won hand after hand and ended up as a big winner of the night exactly how much he won I'm not sure but uh, I just know if there's seven losers around the table and one winner it's going to be a significant amount of money in that game. So overall, not what I hoped for uh, tournament-wise, cash game-wise, but uh, well, then you can always enjoy your time down under, uh, some nice restaurants, watch a little tennis Australian Open. So, uh, so overall, wasn't the worst, especially if you figure in the last part of the equation, the internet poker. See you at theplayer.com.